this is the W8 optional variant. So as you see it gets dual tone alloy wheels, it's a machine cut finish and it gets the sunroof as well. So I'll show you the sunroof. This is the rear, so LED tail lights. Even though it is a W8 optional, the badging is mentioned only W8. So you need to have some keen eyes to notice that whether this is the W8 optional or W8. So as you see this has got white seats, it is a leather upholstery, it is of good quality, it's, it's a really good quality and on the interior front everything feels really well built, I have not shut it properly, yeah the doors feel solid, the quality is really good, even on the dash and the door pads. Everything is like soft feel materials. They are not soft touch. They are still hard plastic only, but still they are somehow soft to the touch. They feel softer. The W8 and the W8 optional both variants get ESP and the push button start, and also the dual zone climate control. Like you have temperature controls for both sides. Yeah, it has a memory function as well, so you can save your temperature and fan speeds well both variants get a touchscreen system even the w6 gets a touchscreen system the only difference is like the w8 and the 8 optional they only get the reverse camera the w6 gets only what the reverse parking sensors yeah so the w8 optional gets front parking sensors it's cruise control and the steering is the same as the W8 variant. It gets uh, auto wipers and auto lamps as well with daytime running LEDs of course. And uh, yeah, well basically everything is almost the same except for the seats and the sunroof. Sunroof. Sorry, I cannot open it now because I don't have the key. I placed it somewhere else. And yes, this is another major difference. This feature is not available in the XUV 5W and not even in the Ultras, but they are providing it in this compact SUV. It is the auto dimming rear view mirror, interior rear view mirror. It is good. Let's hope it works fine in the in the actual conditions. Well, there we have two USB charging ports. And I think they even are used to connect to the audio system along with a, this 12 volt charging socket. Then we have this center console with an armrest. This armrest is standard from the basic W4 itself, I suppose. Yeah, the storage is pretty deep. It's got soft padding under there, although it's kind of cheap feeling. Yeah, it's a deep storage space, and it's even got pass through for your wires or some long items if you are placing in there. Bottle, I mean, cup holders are okay. Well, you cannot fit big bottles in this, but you can fit perfectly smaller cups we have two well we have two bottle holders in both the front doors they are large enough they are deep enough too well storage is really good only thing is that the interior design seems a bit old well similar to the Hyundai Creta or some like the previous generation Hyundai's yeah, of course that shows it is basically the same interior layout as the Sangyon Tivoli 
So only thing the Tivoli gets black interiors and this one gets dual tone. It is good though. Well, the quality has been really carried over and I can see that. Everything feels good to touch and good to feel. There's the sunglass holder. Well, the driver, even the driver vanity mirror gets vanity, I mean, even the driver sun visor gets a vanity mirror. So that's a good one. It is good. So yeah, I'll jump onto the back seat now. Yeah, well, it is the same interior, seating and all, everything is the same. Only thing, the leather upholstery makes it a bit more plush on the W8 optional variant. This is good, good to see and good to feel. Guys, this is the XUV 3W. It's a white color, and this is the W8 variant. It is not the W8 optional. So, like that's why it does not get the front parking sensors. It gets ESP though, and it does not get leather seats. That those white leather seats. This gets black fabric, and uh, and it does not get seven airbags as well. And also no no sunroof in this so this is what the interior looks like it's the same as the w option it gets dual zone travel control as well there. so yeah this is the back seat of the w8 model so it's an all black seat if you see it's a black seat it's it's a really good material the knee room is good well yeah, even though I have adjusted the driver seat to my height, to my position, the rear seat legroom is good. Well, you can slide your feet under the front seat, so it's really comfortable position. The backrest angle is also really good. Headroom, well, there's no issue at all for the headroom. Yeah, but one thing is of concern, there, there is no air AC vent or not even a blower. That might, that might, just might, not be suitable for some cranky kids. <laughs> That's what I feel. <clears throat> well, apart from that, you get a separate cabin light, same as the W8 optional. Though it is not a white light, it is a yellow light. And it does not get seven airbags. Get, it gets only two. It's the front dash view of the W8 variant. Basically, there's no difference when you look at it from far because both have the same design and same materials, almost same features. 
uh, well the W8 optional also gets cruise control I'm yet to see the W6 but I'm sure the W6 does not get uh, cruise control although it will get those steering mounted audio controls only mm, well everything looks premium even the buttons are from Alturas the power window controls are from Alturas they are of real exceptional quality so you see I have adjusted the boot floor like into the first top level so that it becomes flat-ish with the seats when they are folded uh, frankly to say the boot space isn't impressive it is just around 270 liters that's what they claim 265 or something which is way down over the Ford's Echo Sport and the Tata Nexon and even the Vitara Visa it is it's more like a hatchbackish boot but yeah, only good thing is like it gets a flexibility thing but it's, it's frankly speaking it's a bit cumbersome to use like you have to uh, take, uh, take out this boot floor and slide it again under but it's okay So guys, I have not driven the vehicle yet, the demo vehicle is not yet available, I will come back in another video for the test drive feedback. See you guys. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe for more videos, if you like this video, click the like buttons and give your comments.